Hello, my name is David Webb and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's me to go fast. I don't have a bingo but I can play Honey for a decent score and a decent rack leave. Honey takes a P in front and an S after it. 30 points. Pretty good. Through an R I would have Rooting and Outrain. No R at the moment, so I'm looking at the floaters in Honey to see if I have a bingo. I don't have a 7 with this rack. Can't see... A bingo with the available floaters. If I can't bingo, I'll be looking to play off the U, certainly, and probably the... Well, I don't need to play off the G, because I do have ING, so it might make more sense to play off just O and U. I'm going to struggle to score with this rack. I do have Young in column 12. Keeping IET, that's been blocked. Zombie takes an E after it. Nice score for my opponent, 63 points. No floaters provided. I'm just looking at the two letter sets in columns 9 to 12. To see if I have a nine letter bingo. Can't see one. Now my O can go underneath ZO. I can't see a way of utilising the zombie hook. And I can't see anywhere great for just OU. But I certainly do want to play off the U. How can I do that? Well, I could play Tongue in column 10. But that's leaving a rack leave of INO and it's not scoring very much. Maybe I should use the zombie hook just for score. Although, what can I score utilising the zoo hook? Well, I can't see anything which enables me to dump the U, and I, I do wish to do that, especially as I'm behind. So I could play... Ah, oh, well, what about playing Tongue? I didn't think I had a 6 out of play ending in E, but I do. Tongue, 37. Horror show of a rack. No scoring tiles. Far too many vowels. And triplicate and duplicate tiles. Inia would sort the rack out. It wouldn't score very much, but it does at the moment play in column 13 parallel to tongue. And it plays in rows I and F. So although this rack looks pretty unpromising, there are certainly better alternatives than exchanging tiles. And my column 13 spot remains available. Nice score by my opponent, 48 points. In year 19. Great, I draw the first blank. Do I have a bingo? I think Latins is good. That plays in row I, making high Azon and Fons. And that stays available. Great. I have a, slout, a slight doubt about this play. 
but I think it's good. Latin's 83. And I pick up Averted straight from the bag. Great, my opponent challenges. He loses five points. Nowhere for Averted at the moment. There's also Tavered, which doesn't play. Now, do I have a bingo? I've got Over in column two. I don't think Overdate is good. Is there an anagram of that? These letters that look highly bingo-y. Can't see anything through the J. And does Averted or Tavered play anywhere that I haven't spotted yet? Don't think so. So, what should I do? It's always difficult when you have a bingo on your rack and you have to break it up. IT takes an A after it. I'm looking at the top right of the board. I can't see a play beginning VA in that spot. I've got a two point lead. Now, what about Taverted? I don't think that's good. I think I would recognize that hook. I'm just wondering if there is an anagram of overdate, but it's not coming to mind. So I certainly want to play off the V. How can I do that? I'm looking at J2. I could play VAE. 17 points. I'm just wondering if it makes sense to play off the D as well. I could play Vida. So that's 17. That's 20. I think I think Vida is better. Although it is opening up this dangerous double-double lane. Not a great pickup. I don't have a bingo on my rack and I can't see one. Through, well... There are no, there are very few floaters on the board, really, just the O and T of Jota. I don't have anything which goes after AD, so I can't do a double double, even if I did have a bingo. And I no longer have an A for going after IT in column 15. Inia takes nothing in front of it. I could play Miller and Tam in row K, which takes out the double double lane, doesn't provide much for my opponent. I've got a 22 point lead. So I'm looking to use my M for score and play off one or both L's. 13 minutes on my clock, 15 on my opponents. He's taking a while with his move. He may be close to a bingo. Still one blank out there. I'm looking in column 8 to see if I've got a play which reaches either of the triple word squares. Can't see one at the top of the board. Or at the bottom. So at the moment, I'm looking at Miller or Millet. Probably Millet better. Are ah, slightly more bingoy tile than the T. Although I note that there's only one T in the bag and four R's. Ooh, my opponent has challenged. Vida, not good. That's a poor show on my part. Which means I now do have a bingo on my rack. I have averted. And I'm wondering if Valorated is good, which currently plays in column four. Valorated. Not sure about that. And how wonderful. My opponent has provided a place for Averted. Superb. Certainly not deserved, given my 
phony. But that's just the way things are. 91 points. Horrible pickup. I do have a 61 point lead. I'm looking to play off the U, the W and the I, and that's going to be pretty difficult. I could play Uija in column one. If I can't play off the three tiles I've mentioned, I'd certainly like to play off two of them and split up the U and the W. And Uija sorts out the vowel consonant balance as well. And hopefully that will stay available because my opponent is likely to be distracted by the bottom right of the board. Just wondering if I can play off UIW. But I'm struggling to see of a play which works. Through an X, I could play Wuxia. That would be good. The X hasn't been played yet. Ouija also sorts out the vowel consonant balance, and the rack of SIW is okay. On the downside, it doesn't score very much. I think Diva was the word I was confusing Vida with. D E V A is certainly good, but that wouldn't have played in the spot where I played Vida. Now, if my opponent doesn't play in the bottom right, what's the best I could do? Well, I could play Ewe parallel to the left of averted for about 24 points. Not a great rack leave, but that would be better than changing. Can't see anywhere else to play Ewe. 11 minutes on my opponent's clock, 13 on mine, still 38 tiles in the bag. Is there anything better than Ouija? The W is a scoring tile, so SIW isn't a disastrous keep. It's more the lunus of the score which is bad about the Ouija play. I can't see anything which plays in row O through the D of averted. Ah, well, what he does? 36 points, keeping IOSU. I think that's my new preferred play. Waddy. Pretty poor rack leave, but it's not a disastrous rack leave. It's simply vulnerable to, to being a bad rack. It also has the potential to be a good rack. My opponent taking a while on this move. If he has a blank, he might be looking for a nine-timer in row O. That's another reason for playing Waddy if it stays available. Taking out that possibility. I note that my opponent did play off an S last go for, in a non bingo -y move. Although he scored well, it may also suggest that he's got an S or a blank on his rack. Nine minutes on my opponent's clock. My opponent does bingo, and he opens up a new nine-timer lane. Can't see anything better than Waddy, so I am going to play this. Waddy 36. That could have been a lot worse. I don't think I have a bingo with this rack, but I do have scoring tiles, and I should be able to resolve it fairly easily. Just looking in row A to see if I've got anything through that R, especially if it places my F or my P on the double letter square. Can't see anything. Well, I could play Surf, but I don't really wish to burn my S. Only one S unseen. I have a 27 point lead. Now either my F or my P can go next to the last E in radius on that triple letter square. So I could play of. Well, the rack leave isn't great and the score isn't amazing. So where else can I play? I certainly want to play off the U and I've got the up prefix. I've also got the full suffix. Well, I'm struggling to see any good plays with this rack, which is annoying because it doesn't look a difficult rack to deal with at all. I think the problem is I'm looking to play off the P and the F and the U, and I probably can't play off all three of them. So what's the best I can do in row A? Surf would get 33 points. Okay, well that opportunity goes. No new opportunities provided by my opponent. Now Pafui is good, keeping LOS. 
And I can play that in row J. Twenty points. It is opening up a super hot double double lane. It is slightly worrying given that our scores are so close. But I think I will take that risk. I do wish to sort this rack out. Not a great pickup. Can't see a bingo with this rack, and I've got no scoring tiles. Through an L, I would have Illusion. I've got Earn and Uni as a prefix. My opponent's changed. Now, I'm 11 points ahead. There are 19 tiles in the bag. What should I do? I'm wondering about taking out the double-double lane. My opponent's only changed four tiles, so he could be keeping back the blank. And a bingo for him at this stage would really help. But there are quite a few good floaters out there, all the tiles in averted. Sorry, the middle tiles in averted and the double-double lane in row K. I can't block both of those. Uh, have I got a bingo myself? Just looking at the averted floaters E, R and T. Can't see anything there. And one of the problems about taking out the double-double lane by playing underneath AI is that I'm struggling to see how I can play off the U. I'm looking to play off, play off the the U and one of the I's. Tricky, tricky rack. Nineteen tiles in the bag. I'm really going to struggle to score with this rack, but it it's, cannot be better to change. Ten minutes left. Now, what I could do is just concentrate on sorting my rack out, and Poilu does this. And I am using the P to score, given the absence of scoring tiles on my rack. And I'm creating a new hotspot, which is good, because if my opponent takes any of these bingo lanes available, it would be nice to have the potential to come back with a decent score. 14 points. And the rack leave is great after Poilu. Okay. Fairly synergetic. Can't see a seven here. I'm sure there will be eights, but is there a playable eight on this board? A lack of an E, I think, is problematic. Through an N, I would have Clannish. Now, if my opponent... Sorry, if I don't have a bingo, do, do I have a play in column one? Nice bingo by my opponent. 82 points for him. He now has a 57-point lead. Eight tiles in the bag. Now, I do not want to miss a bingo here, and I've got nine minutes. So I don't think I have a seven. Do I have anything through the E of Reediest? Can't see anything. What about the D? Can't see anything. The I is not available. So what about the T of Averted? Can't see anything. That leaves the L and U of Poilu. Can't see anything. Now, do I have a play at the bottom of column one? Well, not really. Possibly hands, if hand takes an S. So what to do about this rack? I, I need a bingo now to win. But I also like to score. I could play how down here for 29 points. And given that I'm looking for a bingo, I'm looking to play off as few tiles as possible and not to obstruct bingo lanes. I am dependent on... Well, I'm likely to, to need to draw a vowel, but there are six vowels out of the 15 remaining tiles. This isn't a great rack leave, but I can't see anything... Better. Not good. Picking up a Y and a U. 
Can't see anything through the available floaters, but there still are bingo lanes on this board. I'm 26 points behind. And although I can't bingo, I may be able to score with the Y. Again, I'll be looking to play off just a couple of tiles, given that there are only six in the bag. Okay, 24 points for my opponent. Four tiles left. Poilu takes an S at the end. I have an S. So I'm looking to play off either two tiles or three tiles. And not to block bingo lanes. Well, playing YU would block some bingo lanes. But this is not a particularly bingo-y rack. And it won't be blocking all bingo -y lanes. But is there somewhere I can play YU, which doesn't block any? Or I could play Cly somewhere, keeping unis. I'm slightly reluctant to block this bingo lane across here. I've got six minutes left. And I certainly don't want to block the E and D of Rediust. I'm just wondering if I should play Cly through the L of Poilu, playing off just the C and the Y, keeping I-L-N-U-S. That leaves the Poilu's spot available. But there probably aren't many bingos beginning with an S with the remaining tiles. Very tricky rack. I think I will play YU down here. It does at least keep the score going. 20 points. Pretty good. I have reclines, which plays in row C. Do I have an alternative? Two tiles in the bag. And by playing, by leaving two in the bag instead of leaving just one, I'm allowing my opponent to play just one tile if he chooses. And that means reclines wouldn't end the game, or a bingo wouldn't end the game. But do I have a bingo going through the I or L of Poilu? Don't think I do, so I, I think it's reclines or nothing. I'm 32 points behind. My opponent may be tempted to play evoke in column 8 at the bottom, which would score a lot. It might even score enough to win. That would be pretty close, I think. Reclines doesn't score very much at all. 62 points. So that would take me to 441. So evoke, I think, might be enough for my opponent. Tricky to know what to do if reclines is blocked. Yeah, that was the risk. So now if I do bingo, my, I draw the last tile and my opponent can then play evoke. So that was a good play by my opponent. He's blocked my bingo. Just wondering if I've got a nine letter play through EN. Can't see one. So, should I play off just one tile? Probably. I think a bingo is my only way of winning. So, I think I'll play off the L. I am not, I don't wish to block any bingo lanes at all with this play. Five points. Now, do I have a seven? There is a seven-letter bingo lane in row B. I have Licenser in row M, which Evoke would block. But my opponent can't play Evoke now. He doesn't have an E. But I do have Licenser. Do I have anything through the D in row D? My opponent can see what I've got. Column 6 is available for bingos beginning with D and ending in T. Can't see one of those. My opponent's got 40 seconds left. Row B is also a bingo lane with, a, with multiple overlaps through the E of Rediust. Great, license are not blocked. I think this is going to be enough. I've got three minutes left on my clock. 
I wonder if my opponent was blocking a binger that he'd spotted at the top of the board. Or maybe he'd just overlooked Licenser. 74 points. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game, which he does. And the final score. 423 to my opponent, 478 to me, a winning margin of 55 points. Slightly fortunate, I think, but victories are always good. Let's see what I missed. Right, it was me to go first. I played Honey, that looks fine. This was my opponent's rack, he played Zombie. And now this was a rack I struggled with before finally playing Tongue, which I think is best. My opponent's rack, he plays Cafe, and then I had this horror show. I didn't consider Tega for 24. I don't like keeping uh, duplicate tiles. And in fact, all of these options on offer here do that, apart from my play of Inia, which I like. A duplicate tile adds about five in value, so these plays looking purely at score and rack leave, Tiger and Inia are similar. Horrible rack for my opponent. He played a ring. And now I played Latins. Wow, and there was only one other bingo. But Latins scored the most. My opponent's rack, he plays Jota. And this is where I had averted. And was Valorated good? No, it wasn't. And there were no bingos. I played a dismal phonely. I played... Oh, wow, look at that. I played Vida. I could have simply swapped the A and the E and played Vade. So, doubly poor on my part. My opponent's rack, he played Sod and gave me Averted, which was very nice. And this is my opponent's rack. And he played Redius for 72, which was best. My rack, I played Wadi for 36, that looks best. And horrible rack for my opponent. He played Barge for 36, and this was a rack I struggled with. Upflow, J12, where's that? Oh, wow, on to this W. Gosh, that was, certainly would have been the play. Great score, good rack leave. Instead, I played Pafui for eight fewer points and an inferior rack leave. Fortunately, my opponent was struggling. He changed some tiles. I don't think he changed his blank. I think it was four tiles he changed. And this was my rack. No bingos here. Oil nut would have been nice. Onto this T of averted. I didn't spot that. Instead I played Poilu for the same number of points and probably a better rack leave. This was my opponent's rack and he did really well to spot Extrema. Good bingo. Doesn't look particularly bingo rack. Now I'm struggling. I am 57 points behind. I have a good rack, but I can't see a bingo. Was there one? No, there wasn't. What did I do? I played Howe for 29, which I think is in the conversation. Seven more points for Lanch, but I certainly didn't want to burn five tiles at this stage of the game. I wanted to give myself as many opportunities to bingo as possible, or possibly to win without a bingo. My opponent played Cat for 24, and at this point I'm 50 points behind with a very unbingoy rack. And I played U. I didn't like it because it blocked bingo lanes. But that aside, it is similar to the other options available here. Yeah, to take any, for example, A, N, Y. I mean, that is blocking the E and the D. So certainly blocking the S hook for Poilus and the U floater are better. This was my opponent's rack, so he doesn't have Evoke. And he blocks my my beautiful play. What was I going to play? Reclines. Now, did I have an alternative bingo? No, I did not. And there's one tile in the bag. I am 34 points behind. And I think the only way I can win is by playing off one tile. And I thought my, although I didn't look for available bingos, I just used my judgment to 
decide that the L and playing the L would maximize my bingo prospects. So I played Lad. My opponent's rack. What could he what could he have done here? Well, L1 kilts. Anything down here would have blocked licenser. Fortunately for me, he played up the top. And this was my rack, and licenser was the only available bingo and the only way to win the game. So delighted that that stayed available. So somewhat fortunate that licenser uh, wasn't blocked, but my opponent did well to block my bingo the previous move, and also spotting extrema was very well done. So an interesting game, lots of good racks to consider. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for DweeboVision.